I have another unboxing video to do today. Um, this one here is a Nexstar. It's a hard drive dock. It supports uh, six gigabytes per second. It looks like yeah, six gigabytes per second. It's, it's a USB three uh, external hard drive dock. Something I've always wanted. I've actually got one of these on my computer. It's always nice to have to be able to utilize more than one drive. So let's open the sucker up and take a look at uh, how this one looks. And we'll try it out. So in the package, we have a destruction manual. And we have the little hard drive dock. We have a USB cable and we have a power supply. Let's get rid of all this garbage. So what a unit like this allows you to do, there should be some plug adapters in here too, because it does come with a, 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 a universal adapter and then they ship with the actual plug assembly for your country. So that just slides in like that and locks in place. What this unit allows you to do is use bare hard drives as if they are a portable drive. Features USB 3.0. I guess there are faster standards out now, but this one here is just a USB 3.0 and it uh, doesn't require any drivers or anything to install it. All you do is you plug it in, connect it to the USB 3 input on the back, connect the power, Let's go get a computer and a hard drive and test this thing out. Okay, installation is simple. Just take the USB cord and plug it into your computer. You can just take your hard drive, make sure it's not on when you do this by the way. Drop your hard drive in and turn it on. And it should install the drivers and uh, we should be able to see this hard drive show up on the computer. And there we go. It is now showing, I don't know why it's giving me that message, there's no, not really any drivers to install in this open folder to view files. And here's all my files that are on here. Uh, these are basically some uh, uh, productions that I've done. Like my, this is my, I think this was my opening um, titles that I used. Yeah, these are, here's all the source files that I used for my my opening logo they're all on this this hard drive so these were all my original source files clips that I took from various videos when I was doing stuff and, uh, you know I just took what different generation? clips for, for from different videos and made made the uh, the opening logo so these were all my source clips I take all my files right everything that I everything that I produce is um, okay now that we've removed the these are different, see these are a bunch of different files. I take all my files that I've used um, over the years, I back up everything onto hard drives. And since the hard drive in my computer is gonna fill up, I use just bare drives. And just whenever I fill up a drive, I'll go and buy another drive, a 500 gig or a terabyte drive, whatever I can get cheapest, I'll pick up a drive. So that's where these docks come in very handy. And uh, And I've got all these uh, power supply repairs. It's probably the first video I ever did. Was pro I think this was yeah, this was the first one I ever did. Okay, uh, guys, um, we have. So that's 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 a little quick review of a dock station. I know this is going to be probably one of my quickest videos because there's not really much to show on this. Uh, it's great when you want to eject your disc. You can just uh, click on. I think it's here. It should show up on the uh, if I click on the. The, uh, remove safe devices although I think you can probably just remove this thing without having to, to do that but for safety I always just eject it turn it off 
take out your drive, your next drive, slap it in, and it's ready to go. Now let's take this and plug it into my smart TV and see whether my smart TV is going to be made smarter. Will my smart TV be able to play these files? So here is my smart TV. I'm going to put the unit just below it here on the little table. This sits below my TV in my office. We'll just I got the nice bracket on here so it makes it easy to plug things into. I'm just going to take the USB cable and plug it into the back here. Now this TV's got two sets of plugs. It's got one for a memory stick and one for a hard drive. Okay, my smart TV's on. Let's select go to home and we'll go over to source and let's see whether it will find that should be it there. Loading. And there it is. Opening title. It should be all those files. I will say it's not as fast as the computer searched it, but then it's, it's probably still indexing the drive which will take a couple minutes because there are a lot of files on here. But what will be interesting, and I'm going to try this in a minute, is uh, I'm going to see if I can uh, if I can play the 4K files. These are all HD, of course, right? Yeah, here the files are loading. If I select one here, see if it'll play this back. Yep, there it is. So these were files that I used for creating my opening logo, and uh, it plays them flawlessly. Let's uh, stop it here and uh, I'll go back and uh, try some of the other folders and then I'll try a drive that's got uh, a bunch of 4K files on it. We'll see how they load. So go back to there. I'm just pressing the back button here on my remote so I can uh, scroll through all of my folders that I've got on here. As you can see this is the, uh, here's the the video when I got a tour through radio station KISM. These are all the, uh, I think there was only actually one file. There was only one file because this was, this was captured off of a beta tape. So if I click on here, this was the, this was the raw, um, this is actually, the, this was actually the final video. This is what I cut together. So this is actually the one that uh, went up onto, uh, onto YouTube. Oh, that was a bad camera. I believe that was a Sony, uh, that was probably a Sony HVC 2400. Definitely it was. It was definitely a Viticon camera because you can see all the lag there. See there, they got their, they got their ticker tape that's giving them the stocks. And they have that sitting up in their studio, a little black and white monitor, and he's playing his records there. Got his records all queued up. This was a this was an FM station to say back in the in the early '80s, and I was invited to uh, see. This is actually a fully automated station. You, you go watch the video if you want to see the whole video in, in its entirety. But that was the edited version that I put together on this hard drive. So if I get out of here, if I back out of here, let's uh, let's try a 4K drive and see how the 4K playback is off of this external drive. Now on the TV, I shouldn't have to do anything other than hit the power switch. If I put on some lights here so we can see what I'm doing, I should be able to just hit the power switch here and it'll go. All right, it goes back to TV. And I can eject the drive and uh, we'll grab another drive with some 4K files on it and see how they play. Now to be fair, I have not been compensated by this company at all for, for promoting their devices. I purchased this docking station uh, at retail and the reason I purchased it is because I already own another one of an older model that I've got on my uh, editing machine. I'm actually just dumping some files uh, from my hard drive and my computer over to this one so I can test it on the TV. I bought it specifically to run with my smart TV because it's a little faster and a, little, a lot less money to store files on a hard drive than it is to put them onto a USB stick. 
So for what this thing costs, which was less than the price of a 128 gig uh, memory stick, I can plug in one terabyte or 500 gig drives, which you can pick up dirt cheap these days. And uh, I, since I store all my material on hard drives, it just makes it a little easier if I want to look at stuff on my 4K set. So this is the old version that I've had for a couple years. This one's actually a, an E SATA. So it's, it's got a USB, I think it's, this one was USB 2, if I'm not mistaken. This one's much faster because I've got an E SATA or SATA um, port on my desktop. So this one's tied to my desktop. I picked another one up to use with other equipment and it has a USB 3 on it. So I'm just in the process of copying about 50 gigs of files and I'll put them on the other set and we'll see how they look as soon as it's done. Okay, I've just uh, loaded a few files, uh, 4K 100 megabit files onto this drive. We'll power it up and then I'll go into my source menu. And I just put four videos on here that are in Ultra HD. These are 100 megabit uh, encodings of a couple of videos that I've recently done. I know that I'm only shooting this in uh, HD here, so you're not going to see the full quality on the camera, but I certainly will see it on my screen. And I just want to see how this thing plays uh, in full uh, 4K, 100 megabit quality and the picture quality, although you're not seeing it off camera because I'm only shooting this in full high def, but the, the quality off this is just amazing off of this. Let's go back and let's pick another one up here, like this one here. In 4K, 100, 100 megabit, that is like looking out a window. So there you go, that's um, a little quick, I know this has probably dragged on longer than it needed to do, but there's a little quick uh, review of my newest little edition. It's a, a Nexstar by Vantech, it's a Nexstar USB docking station. These things can be had for about uh, 40 bucks, I guess, something like that. Um, they're not expensive, uh, it's a really inexpensive way to uh, expand your uh, storage capabilities and you can, you can swap them hot. It'll work with things like smart TVs and any other device that you can plug a USB 2 or 3 device into. Um, no drivers needed. It's a great way to expand. Um, perfect, you know, for um, expanding cheaply. And that's the word, cheap, because uh, you can buy um, 500 gig hard drives these days uh, for about, uh, I think, about 20, 20, 25 bucks if you look online. They're, they're pretty cheap for for 500 gig uh, drives and then you can also get them out of other old devices too right old security DVRs and stuff uh, I got a two terabyte drive out of a uh, a broken uh, it was a uh, what was it? I think it was a swan uh, two terabyte drive in a swan DVR that had blown up and the drive was fine it's just the uh, fan had failed on it and it caused the motherboard to overheat so uh, I was given this uh, this drive and it had a two terabyte drive in it and it was a bonus there you go so anyway hope you enjoyed this video we'll uh, catch you in the next one bye for now